Okay, so now that we know the uh, houseboat works, we're gonna show you how it works. So come on up. <laughs> okay, so uh, up here, it's pretty, uh, pretty simple. You got your steering hydraulically controlled. So that's just a, just a hydraulic box in there with the lines coming off of it. The steering system here. This has connected our steering wheel here and uh, got a high pressure line, a return line, and then two left and right cylinders. So you just steer it and it uh, tells the hydraulic cylinders what to do. Pretty easy. Got your lights, your bilge pump, horn, all that stuff here, just the regular boat switches. You got this, uh, you know, just a regular gear selector. This came, uh, you know, I just had to modify it to fit in here and then run a long shift cable all the way back. Most of the gauges are functioning. Obviously, they, we pulled a couple out that weren't useful and added a couple that we needed. And then over here, you got the handles that control all of the, uh, the components underneath the boat. And everything is manually cable controlled. Uh, so there's no electronic crap to worry about. This does a propeller. This is high and low for the transfer case. This is a parking brake. And this is a high and low and neutral for the axle. These are levers off of a uh, fire engine. A nice reuse of components too. And then you got a gas pedal and a brake pedal, which is kind of neat for a boat to have. Uh, most of them don't have that. But <laughs> and we got a little sectional couch here that folds out into a bed. Uh, this is pretty much the only furniture I have in the boat so far, interior. Uh, but hopefully we'll get the rest of it. Okay, so down here, um, like the plan was to uh, re return all this back to original, but a lot of the original stuff is a little rotted out. So I'll probably have to build most of it from scratch, you know, repaneling obviously. And we're gonna get the 110 volt outlets working uh, and the lights. So at shore power, we have, you know, decent uh, appliance capacity. And this was boxed off here and it was a little side room. It was, uh, it was like a half bath and there was a little closet. And I'm gonna try to get a lot of that uh, back together. Uh, so there was a toilet and a sink in there. And uh, as far as in the back, that's gonna be completely different uh, because obviously there's a big transmission tunnel here, uh, which wasn't there before. That was just a walkway. And that's, uh, that's the aspirations. Maybe get some carpet too, some nice waterproof carpet because this wood plywood floor is not great for sound or uh, looks. So we'll, we'll get to that. Okay, so right now uh, what it's running here is there's a Caterpillar 3208 V8 diesel uh, and that was out of the sprayer backed by an Allison automatic transmission, which was also out of the sprayer. And then there's a uh, four wheel drive transfer case here, a big heavy duty one. Basically while I'm running it is one drive shaft is going to the front axle and that the rear, instead of going to another drive shaft and axle, it's going to a gearbox, which splits power to two other gearboxes. These are right angle boxes. And uh, both these, all three of these boxes came out of a brush hog, the, the spinning uh, lawnmowers behind tractors. You know, they're super heavy duty and they're, they're, they were cheap. Uh, from there, we got some uh, brass propeller shafts. Uh, they run basically right through here uh, and they have a seal right in the hole. And for temporary, I just have this little uh, plywood thing built here just to cover things up. Um, I'll probably put a bench on that, a padded bench, and then some benches over here uh, to make it, uh, you know, nice. So this front axle, you see how this works? It's a uh, two-speed axle. So there's a high and a low, and in between high and low, there's a neutral. Um, and that's what I put it in uh, when I'm on the water and I don't want the wheels to turn. In front of that, there is a uh, fuel tank. Right now, it's just a 40-gallon fuel tank. I have another one I can add to double the fuel capacity, but it seems, uh, seems like it's getting pretty decent fuel mileage. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess that's it for here. Um, this is a basic truck engine or tractor engine or whatever the hell else they put these things in. Uh, they're super common. I'm running an air brake system for the front axle, so we've got to have an air compressor. And we also run an, a, a radiator uh, because this is a closed system because it has to go out of the water. Most boats take water in, you know, basic standard truck stuff here. Uh, but we painted it uh, red to give it a little bit more horsepower. 
We got the hydraulic system, basically hydraulic lines coming through and then two cylinders coming out that steer. And with that, I'm running all environmentally friendly uh, fluid just in case there's a leak. I want to make sure it doesn't uh, pollute the environment. A straight pipe stack here, uh, which it looks cool, but it's loud as hell and it, it's not really cool anymore. So I'm going to change that as soon as I can because it's, uh, it's just annoying. Other than that, the only thing I want to do here is uh, build an engine cover here pretty soon because it's, uh, it's kind of a safety hazard having it wide open like this. Okay, so probably the best part of this whole build are these super huge tires. These are uh, 6643s and uh, they're all air filled. Uh, this one's been recapped as well as the other side. And I think the rear has been, has been re retreaded at some point too. But uh, they're in good shape, they hold air, um, and they're pretty expensive to replace, so hopefully they keep holding air for a while. Yeah, pretty sweet, pretty sweet wheel to have on your boat. Um, over here, it's our propellers, and these are the most important things on the boat, pretty much. Uh, the water line, as we've discovered, sits somewhere about here. These are off of a Chris Craft uh, twin-engine boat, and I'm using two, obviously, uh, counter-rotational. Um, with single engine, uh, so these are not controllable. They're just, when they're engaged, they're engaged, and when you disengage them, they stop turning. Um, so there's nothing we can do about it. And with this, as our steering system, which is pretty good, I added these things just, you know, to try to make it a little more streamlined, uh, and it seems to work pretty good. What we're running for a license plate, it's an orange triangle, an SMV, and uh, in New York State, it's a slow-moving vehicle. And obviously it's registered as a boat as well. Just the regular registration for that is all that's required. Right now the exhaust is coming out up there and it's loud. I want to put it down here. So it's coming out in, in the water. So you don't actually have to hear it when you're on the water because it's, it's annoyingly loud. Um, so probably just cut a hole here and redirect the pipe in a loop shape so it doesn't take water into the engine. Quiet it down a little bit, not, not super quiet, but okay. So you see how the boat works. Uh, if you have questions, you can ask them. Uh, so far, this is how it's running. Uh, we'll see what breaks first, but so far, so far, so good.